Hello and welcome to my channel. This is 999 Revision and Emergency. Today we will be covering chapter 2.1, Atomic Structure and Isotopes. By the end of this lesson you will be able to describe the nuclear model of the atom and give the definition of an isotope. There should be a recap from GCSE. You learned that an atom consists of a nucleus made up of protons and neutrons. A third type of subatomic particle, the electron, occupies shells around the nucleus. Atoms and subatomic particles have tiny masses. We like to use relative masses to make it easier to understand. A proton and a neutron have the same relative mass of one. However, an electron is much smaller and has a relative mass equivalent to 1 over 1,836. You didn't need to know this number for GCSE, but you will be expected to for A-level. Protons have a positive charge. Neutrons are neutral or have a relative charge of zero. Electrons are negative, so have a relative charge of minus one. An atom has the same number of protons as electrons. This means the overall charge of an atom is neutral. Every atom of the same element contains the same number of protons. Different elements contain atoms that have different number of protons. The number of protons is shown as its atomic number. We can find this on the periodic table. Atomic number is often the bottom number shown on the periodic table. For example, for carbon, it is 6. We can also represent the atomic number by the letter Z. Mass number is equivalent to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. This is often referred to as A. We can find the number of neutrons in an atom by taking the atomic number from the mass number. We must remember that the number of protons equals the number of electrons. Therefore, the atomic number is also the number of electrons. However, while every atom of carbon must contain the same number of protons, six, it can contain different number of neutrons. Isotope are atoms of the same element with different number of neutrons, but the same number of protons and electrons. As isotopes have the same number of electrons, they will still react the same way. An iron is a charged atom. Here, the number of electrons is different from the number of protons, as it has gained or lost electrons. We call an atom that has gained electrons an anion. It becomes negative as electrons have a negative charge. We call atoms that have lost electrons cations. These are positive, 